Hello guys and welcome to episode 8 of the unboxing series for the Diecast collection series, uh, obviously from the Cars universe. Um, obviously we are trying to complete the Take 5 a Day 1 to 55 Cars Diecast collection book. Um, obviously this is the 2006 to 2021, um, they haven't released the 2022 yet. Yeah, there can't have been that many cars released, in all honesty. Um, so yeah, obviously, we're going to try and add to the collection today. Um, we have spent a considerable amount on this um, haul uh, today, and to be fair, the next few episodes, um, spent £140 on this one. Um, there is a few cool cars to be added to the collection, um, and as far as I'm aware, they are all um, new. And none of them are duplicates or swaps, which is quite good. Um, so yeah, we're going to get on to that. Um, let's get on to the first car. So, first car of the day is obviously uh, one of the security cars. Uh, it's uh, Richard Clayton Kensington. Um, he is obviously one of the security cars in Cars 1. Uh, obviously, when McQueen thinks he's won the three-way tie. Um, so yeah. Another quite a big, substantial car here, uh, but an in decent condition to be fair. Um, so yeah, another one to add to the collection. So yeah, on to the next one. So speaking of security cars, it's Marlon Clutches McKay. Um, same instance basically in the movie. Um, yeah, obviously another decent looking car. Um, orange lights on this one. Um, so yeah, pretty cool indeed. So yeah, on to the next one. So from the Cars 2 universe, or technically Toons, I know him from, um, I've recently just watched the Toons um, series on Disney+. Plus. Um, yeah, they're very quick and, you know, good for a child, I think. Um, but yeah, it's good to have more car stuff out there. But yeah, this is uh, Kabuto. Obviously, this was before um, he loses the race against Mata and uh, has to go stock. Uh, that of which I'm still looking for uh, stock Kabuto as well. Um, so yeah, obviously, again, pretty cool design, a bit different, although he's definitely basically based off Boost, um, which is pretty obvious. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Speaking of ones based off other, um, other cars, obviously, this is a car based off DJ, uh, but this one is from the Toons universe again, and it's called... Yakuza. Um, yeah, this one is from exactly the same um, Tokyo uh, Cars Tunes episode. Um, again, pretty cool design. Um, this one's slightly damaged, but I don't have it yet, so adding to the collection. Uh, you find that a lot of these have got a bit wonky wheels because kids have been pressing them down quite hard. But yeah, again, on to the next one. This one has caused me a bit of mystery. This is not in the Take 5 a Day book as far as I'm aware. If you can correct me, find it for me, because I genuinely cannot find it. I'm gonna call this one Winter Wonderland Remote, but a bit of a big question mark, really. I have no idea what it's called. I've looked in the Winter series. It's the uh, one with the uh, parcel stuff all over it, is that Ramon, so yeah, I have no idea. I don't know whether it's a special from different parts. It is made in Vietnam, it says. So whether that means it's from a different set or it's Vietnamese only, I have no idea. And I don't know where the hell they've got it from, who I've bought this off. So yeah, a bit of a different one, but yeah, on to the next one. Next on the list is Alex Carvel, obviously from the Cars 2 universe. Um, a very good uh, specimen, really, um, from what I can see. Um, it's obviously from the Italian race because this is a official Fiat Panda. Uh, which is quite interesting. Obviously, cars doing well in the world, being able to get some um, tick boxes uh, with real manufacturers. So that's quite cool. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Speaking of uh, real cars, this is obviously a Nissan Figaro, um, but it's got a British number plate. So maybe it's a bit of a salute um, to Sarah Jane Smith from that universe, from the uh, Doctor Who universe, possibly. Um, it's got a Brazilian flag on the side, uh, but it's Denise Beam is the car it's called. Um, so yeah, another again, another quite good specimen, uh, but these in real life notoriously rust, so it wouldn't have surprised me um, if it was in a bad condition. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Next up, we have Nick Stickers, um, obviously 
plenty of stickers on here, so you can see why they're giving him that name. Uh, from the Cars 1 universe, must have been a background character. I do not recognise him at all. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. Next up is Heather Dryfing. Um, I'll be honest, I had no idea these existed, but they're from the Autobahn Society. And I could tell by uh, Googling the number plate on the back of the car. So yeah, another one nice to tick off. Very, very basic car, but yeah, another one to tick off. Good condition as well, so yeah. On to the next one. Here we go, we've got Patty here. Um, I'll be honest, again, I do not know where on earth this was in the movie. Uh, possibly with Mario Andretti, but I really do not know. Uh, but again, I found out their name by looking at their uh, number plate on the back. So yeah, again, another nice car, a good condition. So yeah, happy to add it to the collection. On to the next one. Next up, we have Scott Motorizzi. Again, another um, another official manufacturer here, BMW making a showing, obviously British, uh, from the Cars 2 universe, I'll be honest. Don't know whether they were uh, a baddie or not, um, but yeah, another cool uh, addition to the collection. On to the next one. Next up, we have another Ramon, and um, it's actually a very, very cool design. Um, it's called Saludos Amigos Ramon. Um, so it looks like it was when he did the Rally Mexico. Um, very nice design. Um, I thought it was a custom at first, but no, it's not. Um, it's official. So it's very, very cool indeed. Apparently from the Cars 3 universe. Um, but yeah, very, very cool. Uh, probably one of my favourite designs, actually. Um, so yeah, on to the next one. So here's the next one, um, a forklift called uh, Robert Jam Jones, apparently from the band. Um, I don't actually know if they have two of them, uh, but apparently so it looks like. Um, it's either that or, you know, they're uh, different characters, but they look exactly the same to me. So I imagine one of them is classed as a, uh, a duplicate. So I'm going to put one to the side. It's nice they came with a nice little amp. Um, so yeah. One to add to the collection, um, the other will be going into the swaps pile unless I find out otherwise. Um, it's not for that, so yeah, on to the next one. Next up we have Otis um, from the Cars 2 universe. Um, old number plate on the back um, and it looks like it's got a real um, manufacturer on the back but I have no idea what manufacturer that is in all honesty, so maybe it is an Otis. It says somewhere on the side, I think it says Limited or United, something like that. It better not be United, 7-0. Um, so yeah, that's one to add to the collection. Again, a very, very good condition um, load here, really. Oh, let me just push that back up. Don't want that to push down. There we go. Cool. So yeah, um, another one to add to the collection. Um, on to the next one. Next up, we have Jesse Jessica Jam Petrol. Um, apparently from the Cars 2 universe as well. I do not remember them at all, so it must have been maybe in a flashback or something like that when they were making the fuel. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, it's probably something to do with the all and all. Uh, but yeah, EA number, or it's actually an AZ number in the forklift case, but yeah, on the bottom. So yeah, another one to add to it. Um, yeah, on to the last couple. Next up, we have Becky Wheeling. Um, yeah, obviously, again, from the Cars 2 universe, must have been uh, in Japan, to be fair, although it is obviously a Mini Cooper, uh, which is interesting. Um, I thought it was going to be from Britain, but apparently not. Again, obviously, official manufacturer there, so Pixar were obviously doing very well at the time, managing to do all this. Um, but obviously, we know though, how Cars 2 went compared to uh, Cars 1. Uh, they did never mention it ever again. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's get on to the last car of the episode. I'll be right back. Last up, we have Eric Lanley. Obviously, not in great condition, actually. There's quite a lot of crap all over it, but yeah. Good to add to the collection. Again, Honda from Cars 2 Universe. Um, obviously, when they travelled to Japan. Um, so yeah, obviously, it goes that side with over here. So yeah, that has been episode eight thank you so much for watching um, and i guess i'll see you in a couple weeks for episode nine when we continue this haul but as you can see it's quite an exciting one different ones to add to the collection so yeah thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye